Hello class, this is section 4.1 and in this video we are going to do a tutorial of another piece of Java software. This is called Pplane and one of my professors in grad school wrote it. If you have trouble uh, getting the program to work, please let me know. It runs on a pretty old version of Java so you probably won't have as many problems as you had in the first Java app. So anyway, uh, Pplane is a program that helps you to visualize solutions to systems of uh, equations. This is how it works. Uh, the interface is fairly simple, I think. Oh, um, let's go back to our old... So remember in the last video we had... Um, the last video we had our little... we had a system, of, a system that we solved, so x prime equals y, y prime equals 6x minus y, these initial conditions. So look, maybe you wanted to see if our solution was correct, and we can use this program to check. So we have x prime, so the interface is fairly simple. You just have to write down, copy down the equation exactly. So there's a prime over here that's a bit hard to see. So anyway, our equation is x prime equals y. y prime equals 6x minus y. Just ignore everything in the bottom left. I don't think you need to use that. The display window is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it means that the window that you'll see will go from x minus 4 to 4 and y minus 4 to 4. So anyway, let's uh, see what happens when you, see the, when you get the, the phase plane. So this is our phase plane, and this describes the solution of uh, x, y. So remember that when, when we solve for x and y, we get expressions in terms of t. So think of it as like a, a point, x, y, that moves as t changes. So anyway, um, let's look at our solution we, we get we solve for this problem. Our solution was xt equals e to the 2t and yt equals 2 to e 2t. So you can think of this as the solution is basically a trajectory of points. So for instance when x when time at time 0 our point is at, at 1 2 at time 1 is at uh, e squared 2 e squared at time 3 is at e6 and 2 e6. So our solution is basically a, a line that moves through space. And this is what our p-plane thing will tell us. So anyway, let's uh, check our problem. So our, if you remember, our initial conditions were t equals 0, x equals 1, y equals 2. So at time 0, we started at x1 and y equals 2. So let's see what it brings us. So this is y. Huh, that's very interesting. x is here, 1, and y is 2. So our solution started here. Whoops, OK. I meant to put it at this point, but I missed slightly. So, but there, there is an uh, delete orbit and delete all orbits option here under the edit window, so you can delete that orbit. So let's be more careful here. So x equals 1, y equals 2 was our initial condition. There, all right. So this would be our uh, visualization of our solution. So let's see if it checks out. So according to our, according to our solution, we have... Uh, for t positive, positive time, that our y, the, our y variable will be twice our x variable, so y, x equals e 2t, y equals 2e 2t. And that looks about right. We have a little straight line here, and it seems that our y coordinate is about double our x coordinate. So yeah, it does seem like our solution was correct. So that's, that's one way to view the simple linear system of differential equation is that it, it describes a little field, vector field, and the solutions are basically trajectories of uh, points through that vector field. So there are a few problems in the book which require you to, that require you to uh, use a program to check your answer, and I would suggest using this program. Again, if you have troubles with the Java, please just let me know.